Okay, that is ter- look at that. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Nah, bro. Hello everyone, my name is Casper. Welcome back to CF Reacts. Today we're going back into Has Been Hotel, which has been an absolutely amazing experience for me so far. If you haven't seen episode one, you can go check it out in one of the corners up here that was up uploaded uh, earlier this week. Um, for now, we're diving into episode two, which is titled Radio Killed the Video Star, which is funny because it's usually a video killed the radio star, but I assume this has to do with our dear boy Alice store. Um, we are, uh, you know, uh, getting really, really into uh, this series. Uh, I've been listening to Hell is Forever for like, like ever since I discovered it uh, last time, which was yesterday when I'm recording this. Uh, so I've been listening to it for like 24 hours straight. It's so good. I'm probably going to cover that. Maybe a cappella. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but yeah, obviously you have not, if you are only watching on YouTube, you've actually not seen me react or an analyze the entire episode. You've only seen me uh, do RNAs for the music. So if you want the entire experience and watch the entire episode, so you can go to Patreon right now for as little as $5 and unlock a heap of exclusive content. If you feel like that I'm enhancing your experience, I'm stealing this from Peter Barber. If I am enhancing your experience uh, watching these videos or I'm finding stuff that you don't like, then please consider joining me over on Patreon. Like the video, subscribe to my channel or leave a comment. Uh, for now, I'm going to stop yapping because I'm so excited to get into uh, Radio Killed, the video star. So let's get into it. That fucker is back. Yeah. I thought he was gone for good, too. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time? Uh, fuck you! Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now! <laughs> Welcome home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on. Ooh, my God, Christian Borle. My goodness, what a voice. I like. I, I'm not gonna assume this sounds like very baritone to me because he's really like do 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 oh and like he's really getting down there but it's also kind of breathy so maybe some baritone baritone or tenor two vibes here but then that screech this is where we get into like he really gets into this uh, uh using the is it called false vocal faults I'm not sure what it's called but when you <clears throat> when you add the vocal grit the vocal distortion to it, it sounds so dope I'm home. home I'm gonna make you wish that you stayed gone say hell to a new status quo. quo Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn Turn the TV on Camera speeds rolling in three Discussing a certain has been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. And again, are you ready? Almost getting Donkey Kong vibes, man. That's crazy. Okay. There's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on. And here again, we have this call and response thing so common like piano is down, string, dum, string, dum, string, dum, string. Status quo. Everyone knows that there's a so good. new dawn. Turn the TV on. Camera now. speeds rolling in three. And they use that, again, they use this like kind of rising synthesizer to signify, okay, something's powering up. So the music is actually twofold here. It's both music, but it's also a sound effect. Breaking news. Okay. And fun thing is here. Welcome to the show unremarkable loser back from fucking up nice okay so vox is also a news host i guess okay that's cool i like that the the boss of the company is actually the 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 face also like the the hour first you have this on on some like for example when you when you when you hear apple you think it's steve jobs uh same thing uh <clears throat> microsoft bill gates uh, amazon jeff bezos you know uh where you have these sometimes uh for example when steve jobs was presenting the iphone stuff for that you really got to put a face to the name of apple same with um uh, with people like uh, Chris Metzen, World of Warcraft, Battle.net Blizzard, um, where where you actually have some of the the higher 
like the higher, I guess, voices in the company who's actually also the visual phase of it. Um, and when you have something like video games or tech stuff, you know, like something like Apple, Microsoft, stuff like that, it's going to be very hard to put. So when you hear Apple, you probably think of like, you know, like an iPhone or Microsoft, you think of a PC. Uh, but then if you have to think of it in a humanitarian aspect or in a human aspect, you actually think of Steve Jobs, Bill Gates and, and, and whatnot. And that's kind of important for a brand to be able to humanize whatever's happening because it is very easy to forget that there are people behind all these. There are people who are building this. There are people who are designing this and stuff like that. And putting a face to the, to the name of the company is good um, because if you detach from your customer base or from your fan base, like, for example, if I only did reactions with no camera, if you could only hear my voice, it would be very hard to actually realize that there's a person sitting here. It just sounds like commentary. You know, it's the same with people who do voiceovers and stuff. Um, so very good for their brand for, for, for Vox. What was it? Vox Tech? I'm not actually sure what the name of it was. Uh, I, I keep forgetting. I'll, I'll figure it out. But the, the, this company is now putting this TV demon face to, to the name. And on top of that, he's also a cabo of hell. Has probably control of, of part of hell. I keep hitting my microphone. I'm so sorry. So yeah, uh, pretty pretty good uh, brand approach that he's actually the face of the company. And I think he, he seems to enjoy it, even though he is like, obviously they are evil. They all are. Even they, like even Adam and the angels are evil. So, uh, so it's definitely a bad sign that they're doing so well, but they're doing something right. Like branding, branding and marketing aspect is is really good like from for from my from my analysis point of view it, it, he's doing well for himself <laughs> okay let's have a look at this smelly prob okay i'm just gonna have to do this for a second just so i can see what it says smelly probably <laughs> this thing tildo furry <laughs> triangle as gross huge feet oh my god artist rendering Oh, wow. I probably commissioned hundreds of dollars of this. Unremarkable. Okay, I'm going to go back and read all this text at some point, but let's, let's hear the song. Let's hear the song. Let's get the captions back on. Town after a seven-year absence. Did anybody miss him? Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. You can take that as gospel. Playing my viewer is impossible. I'm visual. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations. Good to be back on the air. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice. What a dated voice. Instead of a clout-chasing, mediocre video podcast. Come on. So something that I'm noticing now, okay, so that's cool. We get Alistair back in here. Listen to how Vox is singing. And I love how they brought this out. So he is really desperate. So obviously he's, he's putting on all these kind of show Vox tonight, like everything like that. Um, listen to how he doesn't follow the melody. There's no sense of tempo in, like, obviously that's on purpose, but there's no sense of tempo in the vocal that he's pr producing here. <laughs> Fuck Alistair, nice. Um, and <clears throat> and you can hear because he's so desperate, he's so scared, he's so pissed that that Alistair somehow came back. So you can hear it in his voice how he's lacking behind. He's not following the melody or the tempo of the instruments at all. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean? So it, it does rhyme, but it's like speech, you know? It's, it's not following the melody. For your family. Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile, but the demon is a coward. So boom, okay, just at the line, demon is a coward, just like that 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 uh, quieting, and then we get back to the. Blah, 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 blah. Is gospel. Playing my viewers impossible. I'm visual. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to. So you can see it's, he's very like a behind. It's very speech-like. Word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio. And now we're back. So now we get back to uh, to talk. I'm gonna start using my keyboard here so we don't get all the text up. Uh, so we we do get back to now. Now we're on radio when Alistair steps out of the tailor, and then it seems that he's starting to compete with the video again with Vox. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. That's a really nice line because no one really uses radio anymore in hell, I assume. We, we, like on, on Earth, radio is not a dying art. It's just that, that radio stations are really good at just pl like overplaying shit. And sometimes, uh, like most of the time when you're driving a car, stuff like that, you don't want to be like, like, like getting your song on the radio and stuff like that is not really and like it's not something that music like that artists want anymore because everyone is on Spotify or Apple Music or something lander that are just playing their, the songs they want and even Spotify and stuff like that actually have functions where you can get a radio spe specified to what kind of music you like so 
in in a sense, yeah, he he is right. No one wants radio anymore. But there are still people like. Like um, there are still people who who maybe are, like if they're going for a five ten minute drive, they don't want to connect or hook up the phone. Uh, maybe they have a car that doesn't automatically connect to to the speaker set, so they just turn on the radio, right? But it's it's not like like I I would say for, like for example for the for the people that I represent uh and 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 we had like we had a discussion for example with the bass gang like what would it take for the bass gang to get on the radio? I had a discussion with that on on Peter Barber's podcast uh, Vocal Arts, and and it it's not really important anymore to get on the radio, and 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 we said the same thing. The main thing is like. Like you want to be added to these playlists on Spotify and Apple Music and get discovered that way, you know, get trending on TikTok and stuff like that. The main issue is that especially trending on TikTok is so random. Like um, people will tell you like that. Oh, no, I found the way to crack it or I just pick and choose. It's like, no, you don't know. You're just lucky. You are lucky that you got picked up. For example, uh, if you look at bass singers on TikTok, right? Back when the whole shanty thing was going, if you posted there, you are really, really, really lucky that you did so. For example, the Wella men, the people I work with as well, are kind of only a group because of that blow up, like blow up TikTok trend, that TikTok chain. Like I'm 1000% sure that when Bobby and Luke and Sam and Johnny do edit that video, they did not. They did not do it because, oh, well, we're going to make a huge career out of this. They probably did it because it's fun to sing bass. And that's the thing. Just, you know, they, they got it out there. And then obviously it worked out for them. And now they have a huge platform because of that one TikTok. So TikTok, it's very rare. You see these artists like you see Doja Cat, Kid Laroi, all these, um, who else? Lil Nas X also kind of all these people blowing up from from a seemingly random TikToks that went rival. You know, uh, Old Town Road, uh, Say So, uh, Stay. Now you have... um. Now, now you have more and more people like that 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 are you know there's so much room on the platform for these people to to come out right, which is really really nice. Uh, but yeah, that's the rant. So yeah, radio is not really that important anymore. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations, <laughs> good to be back on the air. Yes, I know it's been a while since someone with style treated hell to a broadcast. Sinners rejoice. What a dated voice. Instead. That on that guy on the left, so I see the Anubis looking character on the top left. There's a pig, there's a wolf, and a mummy, and a fish guy. That that watch guy looks like the main villain from Gravity Falls. Oh my god, cloud chasing video podcast. I love it. We're getting some like new new age slang in here. Clout. Okay, so now he's getting angry, and you can see it went to like the error screen for a bit, the blue screen there, and when uh, when uh, when a screen malfunctions and when a screen starts up, that's pretty cool. Okay, so Alastor was asked to join this like V, the V squad, whatever, the Vox squad. That's pretty cool. I like I I like that that we're getting some insight. And and again, something that I was missing in Epic is because if you go into Epic without being big on Greek mythology or knowing the Trojan War or the Odyssey or the Iliad, you you you're gonna go in blind and you don't really know much. Like for example, I thought like I, I thought Athena was was um <laughs> was was Odysseus' mother at some point. Well. Divine Sugar Mama, Mordius, kind of right. But here you actually get the context in the songs. I really like that. I think that, that, that that's something that I was missing a bit in Epic. Doesn't make the songs in Epic or the, my experience with Epic any less because I just went and looked it up after. So yeah, it, 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 it definitely did not like lessen my experience with Epic So because I just went, like I had Mordius to ask about it. But I could imagine if I went in blind with Epic, I was missing kind of the context. Whereas here and with Hamilton, you don't actually have to know much about it to, you know, jump in like like here I, I like that we're getting the the, the context as we go okay so here we actually see okay th that looks like has been hotel up there which still has power which is interesting and then we see there's a moon and that that looks like is that the angel is that heaven up there okay so this is the entire plane of hell and the heaven embassy is in the middle, and it obviously the the what is it hexagon star sign that is the portrayal of the devil. That's fair. People also actually told me that the creator of this Vivian is actually taking inspiration from the Jewish, the Jewish origination of you know 
of, of the, like the Jew, Jewish religion. I don't know anything about that. I must admit, but I got some really cool uh, Patreon comments that were like explaining to me like how how uh, Vivian got the ideas for this and that, and based on this and that. You know, and that's why with the that's why I said last time, oh, it's not Eve. No, because in apparently in Jewish religion, it's Lilith or was it Lilith? I think it was Lilith who was the first one. So yeah, okay, cool. So the entire city. So he has access to the power grid. Signal. And now we're back to this uh, this call and response. Doom, but up, doom, but up. And it's again nice. I, I mentioned this in the pilot in the first uh, thing. There is no percussive element to this so far. Um, well, these in in these parts, there's no percussive element. It goes from very dark tom bird piano, higher strings that kind of like battle each other, you know, which is what uh, Alistor and uh, Vox are doing right now. Let's be. Nice. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, that is ter- look at that. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Nah, bro. And again, Alistair, this will be fun. Still, that is that is low for, for you know, in the tenor range, that is still having to produce that, like, live, in a live setting, these Broadway actors, is, is hard. Oh, this will be fun, like that B. It's, it's a good vowel to hit a low note, so that's good. But still, that, that, can, that can be tricky, can be tricky to do, can be tricky to do. <laughs> okay. Amazing song. I want to go back a little bit to to hear some of the upbeat. <clears throat> yeah. So we're we're sticking to this very laid back because like the same rhythm pattern as as like Donkey Kong, which is so very rhythmic, right? And it has this very jazzy vibe to it, as I said, Princess and the Frog Core. And a lot of these uh, people are saying that there's a lot of Disney or or Amy, uh, which is a Patreon of mine on my main channel, told me that there is a lot of um of uh <clears throat> what's it called uh, a lot of disney actress or actors in this so far i've seen uh stephanie beatrice I, i'm pretty sure she voices the main person i've not seen in canto but i think she voices the main person in Encanto. and then uh, obviously the 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 doctor something whatever his name is in in the princess and the frog i don't recognize all the others so if there are more if there are amir talai maybe i recognize him from something no i don't know but yeah, okay, if, if you guys, if you guys, if there are any other Disney actors that I'm missing here, please let me know. But yeah, listen to this percussive element. And then we have this walking. Almost, <laughs> that almost sounded like the, um, I don't know, like the. Yeah, so they're doing this like like this walk-in baseline from from root note to root note, right? So they're going through something. It sounds like it's like almost blues scale, like like they're going up towards the seventh. It's pretty cool. And then they have these like these like transitioning chords, like the dum 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 dum. Now we're out and we go home. You know, pretty cool. Okay, so here, what I really like is listen to the music in the back when he's malfunctioning. You hear that? It's actually, the, in the music, it's also reflected that he's buffering. The problem seems to be caused by the following file, alistar.exe. AXE crash effort eat shit Alistor. Check to make sure all all fucking 1930s looking as hardware and software is up to date and probably installed. Ask Vox for my vortex updates you might need. If problem continues, fuck you Alistor. Disable or remove any Alistors for the general vicinity. If you need to use the unsafe mode, reset your Vox device, press F5 and select advanced startup option, then select unsafe mode. Stop Alistair DC. 
<laughs> Old timey prick that radio. Oh, that's great. I love these little details they have. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. And that doo pretty cool. And then here we only have these like really scarily invoked again. My epic brain is looking for the danger motif. This also sounds really like, oh, something's about to happen. Like the doom, da, doom. It's like the same as uh, Rush E, the Rush E intro. I'm gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone. Mm. Tune on in when I'm done. Your status quo will know its race is run. Oh, this will yeah. be fun. And then the clock thing. Oh, okay. Oh, this will be fun. Beautiful. I just want to see because I want to pause it in time. This will be fun. So look at this. So he has... Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> wow. That was so much to break down. Okay, now let's continue. That was amazing. Holy shit. That's a good one. That was a good song. Very, very more story driven than music driven, I'd say, because there was a lot, like, for example, with the whole, it was basically introducing this whole interaction between Vox and, and Alistor, I guess. But yeah, much, much fun, much fun. We have a Just make it quick, I guess. Not that I deserve it. Gladly. <gasps> Wait. Benches? It starts with sorry. That's your foot in the door. One simple sorry. Spoken straight from your core. The path to forgiveness is a twisting trail of hearts. But sorry is where it starts. And again, the Broadway stars, adding the vibrato at the end, classic. I love how they're visualizing that she's actually creating the path of forgiveness for him to walk on and visualizing the hearts. So cool. This is a twisting trail of hearts, but sorry is where it starts. Mm. Who could forgive a dirtbag like me? I don't deserve your amnesty. Can't we just kill him, shoot him, and spill his blood? That's an option. Damn, Sophia Beatrice hitting those high notes. Then you could choose. It. Works for us. Works for us. Nice. But who <clears> hasn't <throat> been in his shoes? It starts with sorry. Ooh, sorry. key change. Okay. Wow, love this. The uh, Angel and, and Vaggy harmonizing is really cool. Wow, what an what an amazing message to send. But who hasn't been in his shoes? Here, who hasn't been in his shoes? It starts with and then key change. What I like about, um, so here is where there's actually a little bit of meaning in the music. So the key change means that you switch the, I guess, uh, how, do, how do I explain this in, in terms? So basically, usually songs are in a specific key, you know, keys, keys on the piano. You see, one of these here, a song will always be in one of these keys here, right? Or one of these notes. So it's called a key. So this song is in a specific key, which means that let's say that the key is C major, right? I'm not going to play it, but visualize it. So if you look at my hands down here, this is a C major chord. And what they essentially did is that this is the base of the song. This is the foundation of of the entire song here, right? So what they did is changing. So within this, there's a bunch of building blocks you can get. There's around six notes here that will, if you go from uh, from the harmonics, I forgot what it's called, but I'll put 
the picture right here. It, it, it endangered, it's called the circle of fifths. If you go by the, the rule of the surf, circle of fifths, you have to stay within these six chords that are provided uh, for it to sound melodic in a sense, right? Now, if you have if you have the circle of fifths, you actually move between these. So when you switch to keys, you actually move from what would be the C, let's say that this song is obviously not in C major, but if the song was in C major, you would move it from here and then maybe move it up here. Um, usually you just, you do a modulation up. So it goes here, one up. So you go from C up here. It's like do do, and you can hear that as that changes, changes the entire foundation of the song with a key change. You actually also start to hear the change because he wants to say he's sorry. He wants to change. That's a beautiful, beautiful double meaning right there. And then you got all the memories in the back of all the things he's done. It starts with sorry. That's oh my god, what an amazing song. I love the message. I love there's nothing better than a guitar and a piano just playing so beautifully next to each other. I'm also sorry if I got some of the music theory wrong. I'm not too keen. Like I'm not too experienced in that um i'm sure there are way better way way better ways to explain it i hope i did an okay job with it um but yeah this is amazing so wow and look at them am i getting the sense i, I almost feel like they fell in love here <laughs> almost just because this was so beautifully created okay let's go back a bit i want to i want to get into some of these um harmonies here between uh angel dust and Who baggy a dirt bag like me I don't deserve your amnesty. Can't we just kill him, shoot him, and spill his blood? Look at that. That is scary. It is very, very, very scary the way they're, they're animated right here. <laughs> like all the, like this pink purplish light. Wow. That's an option you could choose. It works for us. And again, here we get that this emotion is portrayed that they don't follow the melody anymore. She's like surprised. She's a bit, oh, I, I don't know how to follow the melody. Like, uh, like Vox did in the other one. But who hasn't been in his shoes? And here we have a bit because the, the note is kind of short. You're so, um, oh, what's her name? Uh, Erica. Uh, when she's singing for Charlie, has to move to that vibrato ending that is very Broadway, very musical theater. Like, who hasn't been in shoes? Like, having to add that vibrato at the end, she had to do it pretty quick because the note change comes in right away. It with sorry. And then instead of saying, it starts with sorry. So normally, Broadway stars usually stay on the same note there. So it, it starts with but she decides it starts with we had the same at the in the first song in, in the singing in the, in the first episode the last note was also a continuation like a repetitive a from oh. i don't remember what the first song of, of this show was called but it was it had the same thing so I'm, i can't really make that distinction but yeah wow what a song sorry. Beautiful, and it doesn't it doesn't have any crazy vocals. Obviously, Erica sounds amazing here, and it is pretty high for her for her voice, I'd say. Um, like, oh, it's just high in general. And then we have Alex, who like this is the same guy that sang "Hell Is Forever." What a range on that guy! I have to. I, I think you guys mentioned that he's Beetlejuice, which I haven't seen. Might check that out at some point. But wow, amazing song, amazing vocals. Wow, wow, wow. I hated that song. <laughs> Bro, Boy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are here on YouTube, you only saw me uh, breaking down the two songs here uh, from this episode. But if you're on Patreon, you actually now have an hour and 17 minutes of footage of me literally just talking and reacting to this show and all the things happening to it. Uh, it would mean a great deal to me if you check me out over on Patreon. I got all these lovely names over here that have been supporting me since Epic the Musical, even, further, even, even before that. We are still exploring so many new musicals. We got Hamilton coming out soon. We have uh, we have the five finale because Cersei Saga is out 
out by the time this goes out and the underworld saga is coming at the end of june which is going to be an amazing finale that is actually already available over on patreon same with hamilton same with everything there is tons of unedited footage there's tons of exclusive content and then hopefully by the time this is uh, the ruthlessness uh with mortius is actually also on patreon i can't guarantee it but we'll see other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the way I approach this, if you like my marketing and musical uh, approach to this, uh, uh, to these videos, I would love for you to join me on YouTube or on Patreon. Like the video, leave a comment. It helps the algorithm support my dream of becoming a full-time content creator. We're getting so close with all the support you guys have been showing me. So yeah, it's going to be awesome. Hopefully one day I can provide even more content to you. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like the new setup. I'm, I'm trying something new uh, where I actually have a webcam instead of my actual camera. The quality is a little bit less, but I hope you're still getting the same kind of experience because it makes filming a lot easier for me. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I uh, hope to see you uh, next time for some more Hasbin Hotel.